Welcome back to The Daily Grind, everyone. So today, we're gonna to be planting leaf veggies like spinach, lettuce, and arugula in this bed. At the moment, I've got some root veggies that I need to go ahead and harvest. So I'm gonna do that first. I've got turnip on this side, and I've got rutabaga on this side. And so I'm gonna go ahead and pull these up. At the moment, I've got some lettuce growing here and some onion, and the rest of this half of the bed is gonna be spinach, arugula, and lettuce. So let's go ahead and pull these up. They're not very big. Uh, for some reason, these ones didn't grow very well. I already did a harvest once on the bigger ones on this side. For some reason, this side didn't grow too well. I'm not sure what that's about, but there we go. So all I do is you can eat the tops of these. I don't, but I just pull off the tops and the tops go to my chickens because my chickens love them. Chicken! Hey, that's a decent one right there. So these are the purple top turnips. And boy, they look a lot like rutabaga, but they're not. That's a decent one. So the difference between these and the rutabaga is the rutabaga is a little sweeter. These have a little more spicy, kind of that radishy flavor. Rutabaga. I've got thyme growing in here as well. I'm timekeeper. Eh, I'm not even gonna keep that. That'll go to the chickens. Uh, probably the same as this one. Not worth messing with. By the time you peel it, it's not much. All right, so this one actually, this is a pretty decent sized rutabaga. Yeah, there we go. It's so funny. These were all planted at the same time, yet different results. It's a decent one right there. One last little one. That's a chicken one. And then here, that's a chicken one also. And I've got a cilantro here as well. I also had some lettuce growing in here. You can see I cut these off. I've got the roots in the ground, but I am gonna actually pull those up. And one more. All right, let's go feed these to the chickens. They saw me messing with that bed and they knew it was coming. All right, try to brush off all the dirt as much as possible. Pull the little mini roots here. And I'll bring these inside to, to eat. I don't really have any plans for them right now, but they hold pretty well. They have, they have a good shelf life. This is what I've got to plant. I might have a couple more that I'm gonna throw in as well if I, if I need more, but I have a feeling this is gonna take up all the room here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kinda brush the top of the soil here, break it up a little bit, raise up this drip irrigation. We don't need those. There's no rutabaga planted there anymore. Now, I've got to be careful around some of the stuff that I still have planted. I don't want to pull those up, so I'm going to plant this lettuce around it. And all these are really good companion anyway for lettuce. I mean, most herbs you can grow with almost anything else. There are a couple things that say, you know, they don't grow well with, but... But when it comes to lettuce, I mean, pretty much anything grows well with lettuce. I'm sure there's something that doesn't. Got more cilantro coming up here. Looks like cilantro. All right, so the first one I think I'm gonna plant is this spinach. I'm gonna put the marker to let me know this row is spinach. Make a little hole, super simple. You guys all know how to plant. Pretty good root development on that. And it's about every six inches, which is roughly there. It doesn't have to be exact, um, but it, do it does have to be at least probably six inches. You probably get away with five, but got plenty of space in here. So just a little over, that might be seven or eight, but that's fine. That should work. And then we'll leave all this open here. I can go six inches, which is right here, which puts it right in line with that cilantro, but that's okay, because I've only got four of this. I think it's the outrageous lettuce. So that's very, it's this one right here. We'll go ahead and plant. I've only got four of those. That'll be perfect. It's all planted. All right, last but not least are these arugula. Eight inch is gonna put it right in line with that time, but that's okay. The arugula are five inch, so I can get a whole bunch in there. So let's make the holes. These are all planted. However, I'm gonna go ahead and fertilize them too. So give me a minute, I'm gonna go grab my fertilizer and put that on so it gives a really good start for these. Today I'm gonna to be using 
some of this organic fertilizer. They're kind of granules and they take a while to break down over time. I will also be using some water soluble fertilizer as well. But I've got this happy frog. It's just what I have. There's many different brands. This is probably a little more expensive than some others. So next time I buy, it's probably going to be one of the less expensive versions. But you always want to read what the NPK ratio is. is a 573. So that means nitrogen. That's nitrogen. That's five. The phosphorus is seven. And the potassium is three. Now, I've also got blood meal. And because these are green veggies on this side that I'm growing. By the way, on that side, I've got some root veggies. So I got to be careful not to add any of the high nitrogen fertilizers on that side. But this side, I can definitely add high nitrogen. There is actually a little dip in the way that this is. So I, I don't think any kind of runoff is going to go up uphill here. It's going to come down this way. The next is blood meal that I'm going to use, which is all nitrogen. It's a 12. And then I've got bone meal, which is a 10, a 0, 10, zero so this is 12 zero zero so this is all nitrogen this is all phosphorus i'm also going to add a soil acidifier there's actually something that a lot of people use for like blueberries and hydrangeas and stuff like that that like a low ph soil so my soil is very high in ph because the water we have is very hard so if i check this this is on the ph you can see it's all the way over here and that's eight so that's a high ph uh, really high so it's going to be really hard for a lot of these veggies to be able to pull up nitrogen. I want to say lettuce and spinach and all these leafy veggies like something in the six and a half range. So I just got to add a little bit and we'll test this in a couple days and see if that soil acidifier helped. So how I'm going to add all these, I'm just going to add a trench right next to everything. I'm going to do the same thing over here. And it takes a while for these to start actually giving any nutrients. Um, they have to be broken down by the soil biome. It'll take a little while for the roots to get big enough to be able to reach over to where this is. But even so, this isn't going to break down anyway. Until then, it's not going to be giving them nutrients anyway. Until about two or three weeks by then, the roots should be big enough to be able to reach. I am not going to add a lot of the soil acidifier. Just a little bit. Alright, next is the happy frog. I am adding a fair amount here. And by the way, this stuff stinks real bad, so just uh, just know that you're gonna smell for a while. This dust gets all over you and mm -hmm. a lot of it is made from animal products. So and then the blood meal which you can imagine where that comes from. And then the bone meal. All right, so now all that is added. So I'm just gonna cover it because you gotta get this under the soil for that soil biome to actually start working with it. If it's just sitting on top, it's not gonna do anything for you because all the molds and everything have to start working with it to be able to release all the nutrients that are that they're going to be giving to your plants this stuff is not readily available like i said not at the moment it's going to take a week to two weeks maybe even longer before that starts feeding the plants so they do need a little boost right now since i just planted them i want to get their roots kick started so i'm going to come in with a water soluble fertilizer and let's go ahead and do that. All right, so this is what I'm using. It's just some stuff I got at my local feed store. Well, it's a 6126, which is perfect because that 12 and the 6 are going to really help to develop the root growth, which is what I'm looking for. And it gives a little boost of nitrogen as well for some leafy plant growth. But it's real simple. You just fill this up to what it says. It says about one ounce per gallon. There's an ounce. And you just pour that into your watering pot. And then... Whoop. And then you just fill her up. So I usually fill up a little bit, splash it around to mix it. And I'm gonna water with this. And this is gonna start that breakdown process as well. Not only water, boy, my rooster today. Not only is it gonna water the plants, but it's gonna, it's gonna start that breakdown process. It's gonna give them nutrients that they need to be able to start. And then 
might as well get these as well. They haven't been fed for a while. These are all planted, they're fed, and these should start growing really well in the next couple days. I'll bring you guys back in a couple weeks and you guys can see the progression here. Now these plants were from the same batch that I planted over in my garlic beds over there. And so I planted these maybe a little bit ago and I added all the same nutrients, did the same thing here. I didn't, I didn't water it down with the nutrients, but this has broken down enough now I can start seeing the really dark leafy greens and you can see that they've got, these are much larger than those because they've been growing in the ground. And these are the same exact age from seed as the ones I planted, but they're much larger because they have had time in the ground instead of in a little tiny nursery pot like it was. So these should start growing really well in the next couple days and possibly even get as big as those over there within a week. So thanks for watching everyone. If you like this kind of content, please subscribe and also hit that bell notification for future video updates. And also if you could hit the like button, it would really help me and the channel out and I will see you on the next video. Now you guys try to escape the daily grind.